Fenty Beauty just came out with a new concealer and I rushed my ass to Sephora to pick it up because you already know that I have to give you all the tea about this new concealer and of course, my honest opinion, no BS. The first thing I'm gonna pinpoint about this concealer is that like always, she shocks the fuck out when it comes to the shade range. Like we have this concealer available in 50, 55, zero shades, like, you better not complain about shades, okay? There is definitely a shade here for everybody. This is $30 and it's made in France. This concealer is supposed to melt into the skin and quickly and visibly even in and brighten in and hiding dark circles and puffiness for up to 12 hours. The extreme long wear formula resists greasing, fading, sweat, and humidity won't settle into fine lines or accentuate skin texture. Plus, it is transfer and waterproof. You already know I'm a fan of Fenty Beauty and this concealer claiming to be waterproof is a big deal to me. So I do have my water up in here because we're gonna do the waterproof test. I picked up the shade 225N, which is neutral undertones. And I love the fact that she's giving us cool, warm, and neutral undertones. And the shade that I picked up, which is the 225N, it's giving a hundred, a thousand percent neutral undertones. And same thing with some of the shades that I swatched in the store. They were given their undertones. Because I think it's so annoying when I end up getting a shade that claims one thing and then it looks totally like another one or it oxidized and then it starts looking warm or golden i did use this concealer yesterday for the first time for when i was doing my quick review and one thing i'm gonna tell you about it is that i already put the waterproof thing to the test but we're not gonna talk about that right now because we are going to do it again at the end of the video so you can see the real deal and then another thing is that it doesn't really oxidize so that's a good thing i'm still gonna leave the swatch sitting right there chilling in the back of my hand so you can see in a little bit later on that the shade stays the same. Obviously we have to put some makeup on and we're gonna be using everything Fenty. I'm applying some of the East Drop from Fenty Beauty. This is the shade seven. This is all I'm gonna apply for now. If I need more coverage, I go back to it. And for this type of foundations, I like to use this type of brushes. See how they're more like flat? They blend creams a lot better. Let me just blend this out. Bad little flex, she wanna know me. I stay low key, I'll cast no breaks, baby. Let them hold sleep. Body on to make your girl OD. I get in my way, never out of my lane. Feel like you the one and I'm on one. So what is gonna be? Baby squad up, we finna go. Hmm, I really wish that I would have got another shade, bro. How annoying is this? I can't wait to go back tomorrow and get the shade 240M because I do want to see how it works all over the face. Even though I can complain because the stick foundation looks beautiful, now we're going to be using the stick contour and this is the shade Swedish 10. Yes, I'm going to use contour with it a lot on the double chin and right here. I'm using the Bikini Beauty 112 brush. I've been feeling like the motherfucking man. Daily, can't nobody do it like I can. Daily, baddest in the baddest in the land. I'm gonna pick up my Scott Barnes 65 brush. I need something a little bigger. And I'm just gonna do a little bit more blending. I am gonna put this away for now, but I'm gonna use it to contour my nose later on after we apply the concealer. And I'm also gonna apply blush before concealer. You already know that's my thing right now. And I'm gonna be using the Strawberry Pop from Fenty. I'm not gonna apply this directly on my cheek. I am gonna pick it up with a brush. Let me see what brush should I use. Of course, we're gonna be using the F1 from Makeup by Mario. I'm gonna be picking up a good amount with my brush. And then now, oh, look at that blush. No, like seriously, 
tell me something, uh, something uh, about this freaking pretty ass blush. Wow. It is beautiful. And I love it because the formula, it is so thin. The consistency, it's nothing on the skin. Don't forget to apply some blush on your nose and on your chin. And then now we're gonna move in with the concealer. First, I'm gonna apply it in one eye and not the other one so we can see the difference. And I do really like the applicator. It looks like a little shoe. See this? <laughs> It is super comfortable to apply and I like that it gives you a lot like you don't have to keep going back to the tube to grab more concealer I am loving the way that is melting into the skin and then this is giving me a lot more coverage than what I was expecting Look how easy and quick it blends. And I love that it becomes one with my skin. See this? The consistency, it's really thin, but at the same time, solid. See, like I'm not losing the coverage as I blend it, and I'm loving that. That was only a little bit right here and a tiny bit right there. You saw how much I applied. And look at this, it's giving me full on. This is actually claiming medium coverage, but I am gonna build it up just to see how buildable it is. But I mean, I'm fine with the coverage that I have right now. I don't even have to build it up. It is getting rid of the dark circles, the redness, the puffiness, and even the dent. It's a lot less noticeable right here with the concealer. Look how natural it looks, and it's not accentuating my little fine lines. Let's build it up a tiny bit more, and this time I'm gonna blend it with my Makeup Ameria Concealer Brush to see if we see any difference. I'm gonna apply this much. See, it blends beautifully, and the consistency, it is so creamy i feel that this is something that is gonna look so pretty and so good on every skin types because i even brought it all the way down here by my pore area and look it is not emphasizing anything around my face so this formula it's gonna be on point even if you have problematic skin one thing i did notice is that i do think that the shade 225n it's a little bit too light for me and that's crazy because i do like my under eyes really nice and bright but i keep looking at myself and it's like okay i think you you pushing it you know when it comes to the shade i also know that the shade will look better after we set it with powder i'm gonna be using my amicole loose powder if you know you know and i'm gonna be setting it with my powder puff puff from rose and Ben's beauty even it out on the back of my hand you already know that one main thing that i always tell you is to always go back with your brush and make sure that you blend your creases again because you will always have some type of little creasing going on in there and you don't want to set them with powder i do have but very very little bit of creasing so this concealer it's not even creasing that much by now with other concealers i will have a bunch of creasing in there and that's the reason why i always have to go back with my brush and blend everything really good Without blinking, go back and just boom, boom, boom. Set your under eyes really good. Press the powder up in here. It looks beautiful set with powder. It is definitely giving second skin. It got rid of the darkness, the redness, the puffiness. This is with and without. This looks so much better. 
And I love that it really became one with my skin. Like it doesn't look like I have concealer sitting on top of my skin at all. It doesn't look makeupy. It doesn't look heavy. It is actually really, really lightweight. And I love the shade a lot more now that I set it and that I apply powder on top. See? Now it's not looking too white. Now it's giving me the perfect amount of brightening. It's making my eye look open, awake. I brought you closer so you can see how it looks with and without. From up close. And wow, it looks good, y'all. Like it looks really, 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 really nice. Look at this. And it feels like nothing under the eyes. Like this under eye feels just like this one where I have no concealer. And look at the shade. You see how it doesn't really oxidize and it keeps the undertone. I am gonna go finish my makeup off camera. You're gonna be chilling with me today. We're gonna be doing check-ins throughout the day. And I see you right here at the end of the day. Maybe after like nine. 10 hours, we're gonna be pushing for 11. And I'm not gonna do nothing crazy when it comes to my makeup. I'm gonna try to keep it light, a little sum sum in my eyes because I want you to be like all the way focused into this concealer. Like look at this, look at the coverage, bruh. Like I'm actually really impressed with how natural it looks, but at the same time, with all the coverage that it's giving me. Like the consistency, it is solid. Not for nothing, like this is claiming medium coverage, but I'm actually getting a little bit more like full coverage than medium. It gives you room to play. You don't have to freaking hurry up and blend the fast because it's gonna dry it up or it's gonna get patchy. Not at all, it is super blendable. It is giving your under eyes, but better all the way through. Seriously. What a ride. Love you, see you later. Okay, so I wanted to come back really quick after I did my base. I still have to do my eyes, but I'm gonna do it in a minute. I'm not worried about my eyes. I'm gonna be using cream shadows and I'm gonna do something quick. But I wanted you to take a look after I did my face. Let me bring you closer. And this is where I'm at with the concealer. I already had it on for about an hour, maybe a little bit more than that. Okay, so I already had the concealer on for about four hours. And I do see the darkness under my eye. That's a number one. And as the time passed by, I see the darkness a little bit more. And it's also creasing a little bit, like a tiny little itty like right here and then also in the other eye. But I'm not gonna stress that because again, I still have to do my eye look and I'm gonna apply a little bit of eyeshadow on my lower lash and that's gonna cover that. Besides that, it's not creasing. Mm -mm. It's looking good. Think about my under eyes. Truthfully, I mean, you can still see the the like the circles, like the dark around the under eyes a little bit. Mhm. Mm um, what else are you seeing there? Not a lot, but you can see it. But even from here? No, not like that. Only when I put the light, right? Yeah. I'm back, and you don't even know how and what happened to me today <laughs> i literally did my makeup like around nine in the morning and then i started cleaning i did washed and all of the good stuff and then i was like you know what i'm gonna take a nap because i'm tired the night before i really didn't sleep well take a nap i knocked the fuck out like never before like i slept i don't even know how many hours and then i got up maybe like half an hour ago lost like i didn't even know where i was it's about to be 8 p.m right now so i already had the concealer on for like 11 hours and i never did my eyes and i'm not even gonna front like i did 
So this is how the concealer looks after 11 hours. I did apply a little bit of bronzer on my lower lash because that's just something that I will always do. But besides that, I didn't touch up at all. I didn't apply any more powder, nothing at all. This is it. This is where we add. 11 hours strong. It did crease a little bit more in the same place that I was creasing before in the inner corner of my lower lash. And I do see the discoloration under my eyes, but I'm about to go down to my studio and give you my final thoughts. First of all, let me apply a little sun on my lips because we're looking a little messy. I can't believe I fall asleep though. Like sometimes your body is just done, you know? Like I was tired, for real, for real. So my face, it's a little shiny on my T-zone right here on my forehead, on top of my pores, a lot right here actually. And on my chin, remember that we used the foundation stick from Fenty Beauty. So you are actually seeing this foundation in action and I don't have oily skin, I have normal skin. It's actually weird that it's looking this shiny. I mean, well, whatever, it's been already 11 hours so I can ask for miracles, neither. I am gonna apply a little bit of powder. I'm gonna be using this one from Makeup Forever. You know, it's one of my favorites. It takes down the shine right away it is really blur eating look at this look how beautiful it looks on my pore area you see the difference with the powder and without beautiful now we are back in business. I'm not gonna apply any type of powder under my eyes. I mean, I'm not gonna lie though. 11 hours in this concealer, it's sitting under my eyes this strong. I can't complain. I get it. I do see a little bit of the discoloration under my eyes peeking through. It decreased a tiny bit, but besides that, I don't have nothing else to say. I mean, no more complaints. I do think that I had a little bit more coverage at the beginning and then I lost some as the day went by. But I also know that with a little bit of color corrector, I won't have the discoloration popping through for sure. Like I told you before, I haven't been sleeping the best lately. So I know that my dark circles are actually popping up on me lately. So that's okay. I mean, the concealer, it is giving everything that has to be given. It is really hydrating, super long lasting. Like one thing I'm gonna tell you about this concealer is that it is extremely long lasting. Like this is one concealer that I recommend you for sure. If you wanna have your concealer on throughout the whole entire day and the night, if you're gonna be sleeping in somebody's house, if you're gonna get it on, whatever the case is, and you need your under eyes to look on point, then baby, put this on. Trust me, it's not gonna let you down. I fell asleep with the concealer on, and you know that when you're sleeping, you're moving around, you're gonna get up with your face swat up, and all of that. And look how good my under eyes, they still look. Like my only complaint really is that if you have a lot of dark circles going on, you are going to have to use this concealer with a little bit of color corrector because it's not going to coverage everything. But the coverage is pretty good. You know, it's gonna give you some solid medium coverage for sure. It is really natural. It's not heavy. It's not cakey. It's not makeupy. And I really love it because this is one concealer that after you put it under your eyes and you set it, it's not going to move. See, like I can even go and grab my brush and kind of blend it out how I be doing with other concealers because it's there. Like it's not gonna move. See that? And even if I go and grab my powder puff and I try to blend the little creases that I have going on right there, it's not going anywhere, you see? But look, look how good it looks. Just make sure that when you apply it, blend it really good, make sure that everything is in place, make sure that everything looks smooth under your eyes and then set it with powder. Kind of like have the concealer in place, make sure that you don't have any little creases. Because that's one thing that is actually bothering me with this little 
crease that I have going on right there. Is it on that side? Yeah. That I feel that I had it there from the get-go, and then it got worse. I have my water bottle right here. I don't know how we're gonna do this, but I am gonna apply some water on my hand. It's wet, let me bring you closer. I'm dipping my fingers, and let's see if it's waterproof or water resistant. Okay, so, hold up, so I wanna make sure that my foundation is not coming on. I wanna go strictly under my, I'm rubbing. My foundation came off more than anything. A little bit of the concealer came off. You can actually, I mean, it is noticeable. I have a lot more coverage right here than here. But I also did this test yesterday after I was done doing my makeup. I tried to take it off with water and it didn't budge. But again, babe, if you're looking for a concealer that is gonna give you nice coverage, hydrating and natural and long lasting, 10 out of 10. Don't forget to let me know what do you think about it in the comment section down below. And if you loved and enjoyed this video, give me some sub, subscribe down below, and I love you to the moon and back. Mwah. See you on the next one.